Well, that is a pretty good first snake of the day, if you ask me. Oh my! Look at how black it is, it's dude. It's literally black. <laughs> my boy. It's fall. It's 51 degrees out here. Let's go see if we can find some snakes. All right, everyone. I am out here in central Georgia. As you can see by how blown out the background is, it is quite sunny today, uh, but it is kind of cool. It's currently 60 degrees, and uh, the high today is supposed to be around 70. So it should make for a pretty good day of driving dirt roads, hopefully. Um, I've done well down here in these conditions, so I'm going to be driving around mostly looking for hognose snakes today, and if we see anything else, that'll be awesome, but the main target is going to be hognoses, so. This is the kind of road we're going to be driving around today. Just lots of fields, lots of sandy soil like this. Hognoses love that type of stuff, so we are going to get to driving, and hopefully it'll warm up pretty quickly, and we'll be finding snakes shortly. Well... That was a little bit easier than I was expecting. It's not a simus, but there is a eastern hognose right there. Look at that guy, he's beautiful. Holy crap. <laughs> this guy is so cool looking. He's just chilling with a spider on his head. Look at that thing. This is actually by far the least common of the two hognose species here, so really cool. Uh, southern hogs are a lot more common in this habitat, which makes this even cooler. I also personally prefer eastern hognose snakes. I think they're a lot more charismatic. And they're one of the most variable species we have here in the southeast, which is always really cool. You can see this guy's got this ridiculous mixture of colors and patterns and just so cool. I can't believe that spider is just hanging out on top of his head. That's so weird. But beautiful eastern hognose snake. It's like 62 degrees right now. And this is our first snake of the day. All right, let's see if this guy wants to cooperate for us <laughs> that's so cool this guy's probably around a year old if i had to guess look at that spider that's so weird what a beautiful snake though absolutely stunning eastern hognose with his spider friend there's that classic eastern hognose attitude that's so cool. Love these guys so much. What a great way to start off the fall road cruising season with the beautiful little eastern hognose. I'm just going to let him continue off the road though. Actually, I'm going to move him in the direction he was heading and then we're going to get back to cruising, see what else we can turn up. And there we go. That is a little southern hognose. We're here with Vic and What's Preston up, now. He's being a little wormy. Look at this little grumpy guy. If you can't tell, these guys have a much stockier build than the eastern hognose, even though they can be quite similarly patterned. But this is a fresh little hatchling, he's probably only a couple weeks old. Um, and they don't get too much bigger, they cap out around two foot, two and a half foot, where eastern hogs can get like four feet long. Alright, well first and hopefully not last southern hognose of the year, we're just going to make sure this guy gets off the road safely and keep moving. Both hognose snake species so far today already, and it's just now like 11 o'clock in the morning. Alright, this guy is off the road, we're going to leave him to it and get back on the road. What's up dude? Here's a nice little gopher tortoise. Go on, get out of the road. Keep going. You got it, dude. Keep going. Keep moving. Keep moving. All right, let's go find some more snakes. Well, it's very suddenly three o'clock and we have not seen a snake since the Simus. Just one little gopher tortoise. Before there is our second Eastern hognose of the day. He is gorgeous, get in there. That is one of the nicer ones I've seen here. Look at that. That red is amazing, dude. This thing threw me off so bad. Right? He looks so weird and he was moving like fast. Look at this guy. I had not seen a single eastern hognose in Georgia this year before today. And now we've gotten two. Dude, yeah, at first I thought it was a sinus. I had no idea what it and was. And then it stretched <laughs> out and I was like, what the f That's way too lean for the length. And I was like, what am I looking at? When we first saw him, he was like flying across the road 
and he, I thought it was like baby coach whip. <laughs> that's what like that's right where my brain went. And then he realized he was kind of dark. But beautiful second eastern hognose snake of the day. Awesome. He's so warm to the touch. It's only like what 73 out here right now, and this guy is nice and toasty. But we're just gonna let him go over there in the woods where he's nice and away from the road, and get back to it. First snake we found in several hours, despite conditions still being quite good. Look at that red coloration on his neck. That is amazing. Beautiful. And he's actually being cooperative and not playing dead, which is always nice to see from an eastern hognose. There's a wasp trying to fly into my armpit. All right, dude, get out of here. Stay safe. We're gonna get back to it. Boogie. There we go, big southern hog. Yes, sir. Awesome. Look at that dumper. That is a dump truck of a Simus. Yes. It's actually like relatively small for here too. They get a lot bigger. <laughs> he can't get up the, he's pretty red too, look at that. He's too fat to get up the hill, he just ate a box of Chesapeake cookies. There is our second southern hog nose of the day and our fourth total. That is awesome. Having a real hard time getting up that embankment. <laughs> So that is a normal sized adult male southern hog. And you can see they're not the most graceful snakes. They come down onto the road and then they can't get off the road. So you just find them crawling along the road quite frequently. And smashed. Yeah, and often they get run over by cars because they cross really slowly on their own accord. If you hit one of these, I will arrest you. He's the Officer police. Officer Jim Leahy. <laughs> I just want to hang with you. He is so pretty. Look at that. Yeah, that thing is sick. They made us work for it today, but I mean, four hognose is not too shabby. Alrighty. <laughs> this guy is safely off the road, so we're just gonna let him continue doing his thing. As you can see, he's doing the Sima scoot. <laughs> Incredible. Super awesome snakes, and I'm glad we have done fairly well out here today. Finding two southern and two eastern hognose so far, and it's still pretty early, so. We're gonna keep at it for a little bit longer and see what else we can turn up. Beautiful second southern hognose snake of the day, slithering off into the wilderness. I will shit. Dude! A baby eastern diamondback. This is my second eastern diamondback I've ever found in central Georgia. That is so awesome. Dude, it's crazy how big they are. That's this year's baby, right? Oh, yeah, I think that's just this year. Was born. What even? It's twice the size of a newborn timber. That's probably a week or two old max. Dude, yeah. that is beautiful. Look at this little guy. Holy crap. That's a nice first shed and scoot across the road. <laughs> and like awesome. he He's so just, I didn't realize they come out this big. Yeah, dude, this is a, he probably has never even eaten before. That's my, f look at the size of this thing. I'm just gonna, look at that. It's the size of like a giant pygmy. And it's a freshly born Eastern Diamondback. That is so sick. That is a very special snake. Beautiful neonate Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake here at the inlandmost extent of their range in central Georgia. This is as far inland as this species is found. And that is quite the stunning little baby. You can see he's got that little tiny button right there. And hopefully one day this guy will grow up to be one of the largest rattlesnakes in this area. But beautiful little neonate eastern diamondback. Not a species we get to see very often here on the channel, so this is definitely a treat. Alrighty, we are going to leave this guy to it and get back on the road. Beautiful eastern diamondback as our next snake of the day. Five o'clock update. We're sitting pretty at, I think, five snakes for the day two eastern hogs, two southern hogs, and a baby diamondback. All right, everyone, I'm pumping gas this morning, getting ready to head out. Uh, we ended up seeing nothing else after that diamondback yesterday, but we did see three more dead baby diamondbacks that had been run over during the time period we were, I guess, photographing that live one. So anyways, we're heading back to that same area today in hopes of having similar luck. So, pumping gas. And once that's done, we're gonna get on the road. It actually got down to 48 degrees last night, so fall is definitely here to stay at this point. All right, everyone, we are out here in the sand land. It is a little bit warmer than it was this time yesterday, so 
hopefully that will end up being a good thing. The high today is still only supposed to be like in the high 70s maybe. So it should be a perfect day yet again, conditions wise. Um, whether or not the snakes will be as active, I can't say, but I can kind of thinking that we can at least find a couple more hog noses today. And I really would like to see an adult diamond back. And these guys really want a P word, so I'm not gonna say the P word, but it'd be nice. So we're gonna get to driving and I will update you guys when we find our first herp of the day. All right, guys, 11.30 a.m. update. We just saw our first snake track. It's currently 69 degrees. And, uh, well, it looked like a little hog nose track, so hopefully they're moving. We're gonna keep adding to when we turn up. Oh! Well, that is a pretty good first snake of the day, if you ask me. Oh, my Look at how black it is, it's dude. It's literally black! <laughs> my boy! Look at this snake first snake of the day is just just it's just a pine snake i don't <laughs> i don't even know what to say <laughs> that is so ridiculous just just take a gander at that look at his fur he's literally half black that is so ridiculous it's also a she she's a little bit thin so we're assuming she probably had eggs this year which is fantastic it means her children should be crawling around in the same area right now so we're gonna get some photos real quick and then get back to it. Just look at that snake. Beautiful intergrade Florida and Northern Pine snake here in central Georgia. Second one of the year for me. And only my second one ever in this area. And it's still not even noon yet or right around noon. So we've got the rest of the day to road cruise. So this girl's sitting nicely for photos. So we're gonna take a couple shots and then let her go on her way. All right, beautiful. Thank you for crossing the road at the perfect time for us to find you. And good luck out there getting your weight back up before winter. It's so crazy. Look at that snake. Beautiful black kind of transitioning into the more typical white and black at the end. But just wow. First snake of the day, I mean, if you, if you told me that was going to be our first snake of the day, I probably wouldn't have believed you. But sure enough. Go on, you got it. <laughs> this one's a lot less temperamental than the one we found earlier this year. Which is interesting, to say the least. But... All right, we'll leave you to it. Stay safe. Let's see what else we can turn up. Well, we found that pine snake at around 11.45. It was our first snake of the day, and it's now almost two o'clock and we have not seen anything else. That is, I guess, sometimes how the cookie crumbles, but <laughs> I mean, just kind of ridiculous how lucky we were to have found apparently the only snake that we're gonna find today. And it just happened to be a pine snake. <laughs> Anyways, we haven't even really seen, like, anything common snake-wise. I mean, we saw a dead gray rat snake this morning, and that was the only thing we've seen other than the pine and a couple of squiggles in the sand that may or may not have been even from today. So, I think we kind of locked up with that pine snake. There doesn't seem to be as much stuff moving today as there was yesterday, but, I mean, that's fine by me. But we're going to keep at it for a couple more hours. And if we find anything, I'll let you guys know. But I'm kind of a little bit concerned that we might be done here. But we're going to keep at it. All right, guys, since the road cruising was so slow, we kind of stopped to look around at this creek. And I spotted this guy. It's almost in C2. Whoa! Holy crap, he's... Dude, that thing is absolutely beautiful. That is like the nicest brown water snake I think I've ever seen. Look at that bad boy. Second snake of the day. And actually the first one of these I've seen at this little creek, but really cool. Beautiful little brown water snake is our second snake of the day. This water is cold, cold too, and he's just absolutely enjoying it, I guess. All right, buddy. Enjoy the cold water. But yeah, like I said, we were losing our minds road cruising, so we decided to walk around for a little bit. So we're going to poke around out here, and if we see anything else, I will let you guys know. It's 
little creek has tons of different Nerodia, and it's actually got mud snakes and stuff in it too, but I don't really like our odds at seeing one of those, but you never know. Here's a little not so green, green and all. Looks like he just came out of the creek, honestly. He's super lethargic and cold looking. But nice to add to the diversity list for the day. Well, it only took the rest of the day, but we just cruised our second snake on the road. Nice little hatchling southern hognose snake. I'm gonna get a picture real quick and then I will give you another look at him. Look at this little guy. He's so tiny. And he's also a good boy, he hasn't even moved. Wait a second, boys. All right, little guy. Stay safe out there. You're you're mighty small to be <laughs> existing on this planet, so I wish you the best of luck. All right, and that is Southern Hognose Snake number three, and only the second snake we've cruised today. So he's safe on the shoulder of the road. We're gonna get back to cruising. So. That last Simus we found was right over there. We drove to the end of the road, turned around, and there is our second one for the day, <laughs> right up the road. About the same size, a little bit beefier though. This guy is considerably grumpier than the one we found a few minutes ago. He's puffing up and hissing at us and doing little pfft. All right, well, apparently the Simus have decided to move now that it's 3.30 in the afternoon, so we're gonna get back on the road, just scoot this little guy off to safety. There were actually a bunch of vultures here eating a dead squirrel, so he's kind of lucky that they didn't notice him scooting by. All right, little guy, stay away from those vultures. We're gonna get back to it. Hopefully there's gonna be some more stuff moving now that we've found two of these guys in about 10 minutes. Well, yesterday was quite incredible. We tried night cruising last night, didn't work, didn't see anything. Um, I think it's just been a little bit too cool at night. Uh, it's going to warm back up this week, so hopefully we'll be able to do some night cruising either tonight or tomorrow. I'm not quite sure I have enough for an entire episode yet, so I think I'm going to end up putting today in this video as well. Uh, we're going to be doing some road cruising kind of closer to where I live and doing a little bit of creek hiking as well. So we're about to get to it, and I will let you guys know how it goes. It's nice and cool this morning, but uh, it's supposed to end up getting up to around 80. Good afternoon, everybody. We did a little bit of road cruising this morning, but it wasn't super productive. We just saw DORs, so probably gonna pick up the video here. We are currently walking around out here in a kind of swampy area, hoping to see some turtles. And then once it cools off a little bit this afternoon, we're gonna get back to road cruising. So hopefully we'll be able to kick up some cool stuff out here on foot. And if we do, I will definitely let you guys know. So we're gonna need to walking around, hit some creeks, and uh, hopefully be able to turn up some turtles and maybe some more snakes too. All right, guys, Preston just spotted our first notable find of the day. There's a beautiful copperhead right there stretched out. That is amazing. We're gonna try to get some photos and then maybe get a better look at him. All right, we're gonna see if we... Oh, did you see that frog just jump There's like... There's two. Are there actually? Yeah, one's head is sticking out this way. You see it? It's under the leaves. Oh, there are oh two. Oh my God. Dude. One of them's a lot smaller than the other. There this are. You can see the second one right there. Well, since there are actually two of them and they're probably getting ready to do some mating or something along those lines, we're just gonna leave them to their business. But really cool observation to kind of kick off the day. It's been super slow so far. You can see the second one's face right there really well, both of their heads. That is awesome. Beautiful copper heads. Look at that. Copperhead well, there is our first snake of the evening. We're doing well with the copperheads today. Look at this little guy. Beautiful. You can see he is quite small. He's got that beautiful little yellow tip on his tail. Whoa, whoa. Dude, he's really jumping at, whoa. God. 
dude, he's fiery. He is really, really not happy with us taking his picture. He's upset. He is upset. He's pretty though. Whoa, come on, dude. He's actually really like interesting looking too. Coppery with the head? Well, yes. Copper <laughs> he's looking he a little copper heady. <laughs> All right, little dude, he's too small for the snake hook, so we've got him on a little stick here. There you go. Stay out of the road. It's like 69 degrees right now, something like that, so hopefully there will be some more snakes out even though it's a little cool. Oh, we're doing this again. Baby Quadamundis. We're doing this again. What's up, dudes? What's up? <laughs> I never actually see raccoons here, so look at that one just sitting in the grass. All right, everyone. Well, we didn't end up seeing anything after the copperhead, uh, but on our way home after dark, we ended up seeing a DOR copperhead that was huge, which was a real bummer. But uh, we're back at the house now. Probably gonna end up wrapping this video up here. Today wasn't as successful as I was hoping, but this is still gonna end up being a pretty lengthy video, I think. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode. Also, the woods aren't on fire. My neighbors are having a campfire. <laughs>